after conducting a statistical analysis, you should write up your results in proper APA 6th edition style. Here is what you need to know. There are some general rules for reporting significance levels. To understand these rules, keep in mind an analogy using a dollar. Imagine that a dollar is 1.00 or 100%. Any fraction of that dollar could be represented as a decimal. Because the most common level of significance is 0.05, especially in scientific research, think of 0.05 as 5% or a nickel. When you interpret p-values, look at the first two decimals and think of them as change. Are they less than a nickel? If so, they are statistically significant. This example applies to writing up results in APA style using output from SPSS. In SPSS, the probability value, or p-value, for an obtained result is in a box titled SIG, which stands for significance. The box will be located in different places in the output depending upon the test that you're running, but you should be able to find it easily. Here are the general rules for reporting probability statistics. Look at the value in the SIG box. This is a probability value, also known as a p-value. It represents the probability of finding the results of your test if the null hypothesis is true. If the p-value is larger than 0.05, report the actual number followed by ns with the ns in italics, as is the letter p. For example, p equals 0.32 comma ns, which of course stands for not significant. If the value is a decimal between 0.05 and 0.001, report the actual number, such as p equals 0.022 or p equals 0.009. If the p-value is so small that SPSS reports it as 0 .000, write p less than 0 .001. You should never write p equals 0 .000 because there is no such thing as a true probability of zero in statistics. If you would like to know the actual p-value in SPSS, double-click on the output, and then double-click again on the 0 .000 in the significance box. The software will give you the actual p-value out to several decimals.